Hey, hey, welcome to Alternate Aquatics. Today, we're gonna learn how to make fruit fly cultures. First things first, uh, we are gonna be doing the Melon Gastar fruit fly cultures today. And I do have a couple of different cultures here. This one is about uh, two weeks old. And then this one right here is actually going on almost a month old and still producing some fruit flies as well. Uh, so let's go through our uh, list of materials and ingredients needed. First things first, we're going to use some Josh's fruit fly media. And we're going to be putting about three quarters of a cup worth into one of the Josh's Frog's fruit fly containers, which also comes with one of the aeration lids for uh, oxygen flow. So no further ado, I mean, to be honest with you, doesn't have to be exact and I just kind of eyeball this to, to be frank. So about three quarters of a cup, fill it up, bubba dub dub. Ah, uh, screw it, we're just gonna pour it. And there we go. Next things, very simply, we're gonna need some reverse osmosis or distilled water, uh, but we're gonna want it boiled. So let's get some water boiling real quick. All right, I've got about half a cup of hot water here. We're just gonna pour that right on in there. And then we're gonna take our little spoon here and give her a nice little stirring. And then while you still got this thing piping hot, we're gonna take some aspen wood And we're gonna just jam that right on in there. And we're gonna to wanna to let that cool down. And honestly, I should actually put a little more water in there as well. All right, now that it's cooled down, you can see here, there's usually gonna be a little bit of dry stuff on the bottom, but it'll saturate through after a little while. And since this colony here is almost done. I think I'm gonna take the last of the flies out of here and we're just gonna dump them right in here. Slap on the lid. Slap the lid on there. Oh, oops. Well, I used the old lid, so I guess we'll use the new lid on this one, but I guess it don't really matter. This one's pretty much done, but you can see here that there's still some larvae producing in there. Boom, and I mean, it's that simple, really. Now you just gotta wait about, I'd say a week or so, and you'll start to see little cocoons and embryos start to form. And you should start to see fruit flies in about two weeks, and you should be good for about three weeks. If you like what you saw here, subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. If you hated it, hop in the comments sections, and I'll see you haters there. Peace out.